Hey, I'm Irene and in this video I'm going to be following about Rob's tutorial. This week I wanted to do a more fun video for you guys because I feel like the past two videos have been more serious and more just like giving you information about how to paint. So I thought it was really important to make a fun video just to emphasize the fact that we're learning to have learning how to paint to have fun and not only that but i don't just expect you to make a fool of yourself i'm perfectly okay making a fool of myself as well and doing something i don't know how to do and that's why i picked about ross painting because i don't paint landscapes so what you're going through at home if you're learning how to paint with me and you know just with resources online it's kind of how i'm doing right now i don't paint landscapes i I'm really bad at it, <laughs> kind of scared that this video is going to be bad. Not because um, I'm scared that you know, I'm not going to be good at it, but because uh, I have acrylic paint instead of oil, which is what Bob Ross does. But I'm just going to try to have, try to, try to follow along as best as possible. And if you want to follow along, I'm just painting um, Season 14, Episode 8. And I just chose a painting that looked like something that I like to make. And I have a slightly bigger canvas than Bob Ross has, but that was really all that I had laying around. He also has like a shitload of colors, like he has like three yellows, two browns, two blues. Do relax, like I only have one yellow. This is a beginner, supposed to be a beginner tutorial. So I'm just gonna use the colors that I have and mix whatever I can as I go. And of course I have none of the colors that he has, but whatever it's just gonna be my own painting <laughs> so let's get started for this liquid white that bob ross keeps talking about i have no idea what the hell he's talking about but just coincidentally i bought i got a gift card um for amazon so i found online a titanium white which is um in a fluid um type of painting and is really liquidy so i'm just gonna put that as my liquid white whatever that means it probably that's what it that's probably what it means just like a more fluid paint of white okay. i'm already behind oh shit hold on also you guys i really love my bob ross um palette i recommend it i would recommend a bigger size that's the only issue that i'm having Oh, shit. I don't know. Oh, and I want to say I have not watched this video at all, which was probably a bad idea. <laughs> probably should have watched this painting before. Okay, okay, okay. God damn it, wait! Okay. Oh, fuck! Started mixing. Oh my god, this guy's going way too fast. What happened? Oh my god. Okay. I don't have yellow ochre, so I'm just gonna put a fuck. <laughs> a burnt umber and it went way too dark. Saying like this is just a fun painting, but it's really stressful. I don't know how he goes so fast. Oh my fuck! Shake it. I feel like I gotta clean my color palette so I can mix more stuff. Okay, dry brush. It doesn't look like it's really doing anything <laughs> the paint is dry. So let me try. 
Okay, that looks better. So what I did was put my brush in my cleaning water cup. Wait up. Okay, that's way too much. Oh my god, I think I picked a really complicated picture. Hold on. Number one, okay, so I decided to make this video because I thought, yeah, Bob Ross looks complicated, but you know, everyone kind of is able to follow along. Um, this painting is actually really complicated. I don't think I've done something so complicated ever before. Like, how does this guy do him in half an hour? I love how Bob Ross is asking people to mail their pictures, like, this guy was into social media before it even started. Okay, I'm, I'm still behind and making my pink. This zoo goes way too fast. Clean my pad knife. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is the worst painting I ever made and I'm already ready to give up. Okay, yes, and this is why I would recommend a bigger Bob Ross palette because I'm so messy when I mix my colors that I already used my whole entire space, so... Okay, hold on, I want to learn how to make happy trees. Oh, I have so much white in the brush. Oh, how do you do the reflection? Oh my god, this... <laughs> 
He works so fast, like I'm so jealous of his skill. I don't see how these are beginner tutorials, like it's pretty hard. <laughs> Paint the same thing backwards and backwards. Okay, down it is. And then so bad <laughs> this is actually way more complicated than he makes it look and I watched a lot of his episodes recently and I was falsely under the impression that this was gonna be way easier because <laughs> I keep hearing like Bob Ross tutorials are for beginners but this is really advanced like <laughs> You can clearly see, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I heard that from um, Bob Ross's documentary that only 3% of his audience would actually follow along and paint and that the rest of the people, they just kind of watched the episodes. And at first I thought like, wow, like, uh, why? That's so lazy. I was like, it's fucking complicated. Like, I will... <laughs> now I understand why people weren't doing this. Like, this is actually hard. And I'm sure you, I'm sure you get way better at it with practice. Um, but he makes it look so much easier than it actually is. So good. There's no way. There's no you. There's no way you can get to that in 30 minutes, unless. How do you do that? Oh my God! Wait. Wait, wait, wait. How did he do all the flowers? Hold on. And it's like the most beautiful, like purpley, purplish, pinkish. Oh my god, he's already done. Fuck! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What I'm doing at this point is using the black because I'm out of the dark lavender, so I'm just. whatever. Okay, I, I like the effect that I'm getting like going up. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna lie, I thought my painting was gonna turn out a lot better. Especially because I already, you know, have been painting for five years now, so I thought it was gonna look a lot better than this. And I knew it was gonna be a complex process because I've seen the uh, Bob Ross's, um, a few of Bob Ross's episodes, but I didn't know it was going to look that bad. <laughs> so I, I underestimated Bob Ross even though I know he's a master and that's the reason he can make this in 20 something minutes and we shouldn't be, you know, we shouldn't feel like, and we shouldn't feel like we failed because we can't be at Bob Ross level yet. If I'm sure if I kept trying to do landscapes, I would get a lot better. And um, I'm sure so are you at home if you like to paint landscapes or it, I don't know, have you ever followed a Bob Ross tutorial? Let me know in the comments what your experience has been following him or um, you know your thoughts on this video. But the one thing I do like a lot about this painting is I like the sky and I like the clouds. Like I 
literally didn't know what blending was or like it, if I ever done it before I've done it and I done it because I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't do it on purpose so now I'm gonna go on and take this technique and put it on my regular abstract paintings that I usually make so I'm actually really happy that I made this video even though it's a terrible painting <laughs> and I'm probably just gonna cover this canvas with gesso so that I can use it over because not even my mom will want this painting and you know no I don't think any anyone is gonna ever want this canvas so <laughs> yeah anyway thank you for watching if you still are please subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination and make sure to check out my website maybelingling.com I post a lot more than I do on YouTube there now I'm up to like three to four times a week on a good week so and there are things that I don't really share on YouTube because I haven't you know it takes me a while to make a YouTube video so I'm trying to just get used to creating more often so that I can be regular with these videos but um, like I said it just takes me a lot more t longer a lot longer to make a video than to just sit down and type a blog post so please go ahead and check out my website uh, from time to time leave me comments there and if you'd like to be notified when I make a new video please subscribe to my newsletter right now I'm only notifying you guys when I make a new video because that's once a week and I don't want to bombard you with like four, three emails a week and at least not now <laughs> but for now I will, you will only get an email when I make a video but like I said check out my website because I'm posting every other day sometimes because um, I just want to start creating more and I want all my topics to come together and I'm not quite there yet as you can probably tell but thank you to everybody that's been subscribing and everybody that's still with me from earlier on um yeah if you'd like to support me go ahead and follow me on instagram and i also post the blog post that i post on my website on instagram so you can get them that way um on a day-to-day -day basis as well so i'll see you in the next video thank you for joining and remember to leave me comments let me know what was it like for you to follow Bob Ross tutorial? How bad <laughs> or how good was your painting? Do you give my painting a 2 out of 10 or a 1 out of 10 or a negative 9 out of 10? <laughs> Let me know and I'll see you next. Thank you.